we begin by wanting to know basically what is your motivation, your well-known Kenyan entrepreneur, visionary. What what drives you every single day to do what you do as a visionary? Well, what drives me is that I have limited time, and I know that I have limited time, uh, and I want to make very sure that every hour of my day is occupied, is is full of something that I can deliver, something that I can do for. I've done enough for me, I've done enough for my family. For the last few years I've been doing enough. I'd say that I'm not in enough for my country and the people of this country. So I think that that's my biggest motivation. Push yourself, get going, do something. That's what my motivation is. Okay. So if you weren't doing this entrepreneurship, what what would be something else that you kind of venture into um, other than being an entrepreneur? Well, I, then I'd probably be in the, in the, in the box downstairs somewhere. <laughs> but the question is that uh, activity. Uh, I could be playing golf, I could play bridge, I could be running around. And to me, what does it add? My argument is always add value. If I can't add value, I can look after myself, I can go to gym, I can, I can go and play two, three hours of golf, yeah, that's okay. But what am I doing for, the, for, for, for us, for the people? Nothing. So I think that that is the biggest motivation for me. Yeah. Okay. And lastly, just uh, you can give us a, on a personal note, comment on family, what that means to you and, and forwarding that for, you, for yourself. Well, mine is a very large family. We are 65 members on one account. They're all living separately. Mm -hmm. Some lives in London, some lives in Geneva, some lives in Nairobi, some in Singapore, some in Toronto. A family is something which you can depend on. Family is something that you can, you know, one single finger, you can break, two of you can break. But when you're a fist, you have all the strength. And where the family is acquired, number one, is the work manpower, number one. Number two, when you are in dumps, that's the family who says, puts him said, don't worry, I'll get with you. Everything is going to be all right. So the family's value is something which many a times we keep on forgetting. We think that I'm doing all right. Okay, that's not all. To me, we take the best and the worst jointly. And I think the family, that family values of being helpful, being a party, being concerned, is something which must be always be there. And this is what is necessary. And that, to me, uh, that's why I got to join family. And I always worry that I don't, I don't mind. If I die, die, my family will look after my family. My immediate family, my wife, my children, they all look after. Because I have looked after others. And I want that tradition to continue. You can always hold in hand. And the family's hand is the first hand that you can extend to. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. your time. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. I'm Victoria for A Day in a Dog's Life. I'm making money. 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 I